How's it going? Uh, Priest in here, and I wanted to just make a quick video um, giving some uh, WoW RP tips and uh, just a little bit of information about how to use certain RP add-ons uh, just to get you started in, in doing a bit of uh, you know RP for classic. So I'm going to go through making a character. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So if you're making a character for RP, um, pretty much my recommendation is to uh, ignore <laughs> uh, the meta because it's for RP, right? So you can just kind of have some fun with it. You know, you want to pick something that you uh, really resonate with, you know, for for the RP aspect. And, and don't don't worry so much about the racials or, or anything like that. I mean, maybe, you know, you know, or pick some sort of mix that, that you're comfortable with. So... <clears throat> Um, a race I really like, and I can give some, some, I'll go through the different races and give just like some little tidbits. Um, uh, I'll start with Horde because that's what I play. Um, mainly I play Undead because I think, I think if you're new to RP, I think Undead is actually a pretty good RP starter. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, I think having a bit of a internal conflict in your backstory kind of gives you that little RP hook to kind of get you going and if, so if you play in undead you're you got kind of you kind of have a backstory already and it's pretty much just how did you die you know and uh, you can kind of come up with a story for that where you did you fight in the scourge um were you there when you know when arthas attacked you know do you were you just like a farmer beforehand and did you come back as a warrior were you were you like a, a priest that held on to his faith or or you know a rogue who's taking advantage of uh you know the new opportunities presented in undeath do you even remember your past life i think i think undead is very fun to rp uh, those are just some things to think about personality wise undead you can really kind of go any way you want but Typically, they are because um, I, I think as RP you can you can always find a way to make it work. Like you can be a really cheerful undead if you want to be, but typically they're kind of uh, not emotionless completely, but they're kind of detached um, from 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 life. Usually, you know, they're kind of they're kind of a little bit <laughs> a little bit emo or <laughs> you know whatever. Um, but that's, that's that's those are characters I like to play. You know. Um, Warlock, as far as classes, Warlock's a very fun one because you can have your imp and your different pets. And there's, uh, I'll, I'll get into it in a bit, but uh, you can use like TRP to make your pet talk for you. You can like talk through your pet and, and stuff like that, which is it's a lot of fun. Um, orcs are also fun to RP. Uh, you don't always have to be the dumb brute orc, but you can be if that's what you enjoy, obviously. Um, but like the shamanistic heritage of the orcs uh, can be cool. Even something like an orc warlock is is pretty neat. They orcs have the uh, history that they uh, you know they were influenced by the demons and now they're kind of trying to break free. So you can kind of play into that a little bit. Um, like you said, for me, I like having a little bit of an internal conflict kind of baked in there. It kind of gives me a starting point. So I like playing orcs and undead. Um, I actually find Torin. I love Torin, but I find Torin hard to RP because they're just kind of chill all the time, and there's not a ton of uh, conflict there. I mean, they kind of don't like Centaur, and the Grim Totem are bad, but I, I do like Torin. It's just you kind of have to kind of make up your own story, which I mean, like, because I, I believe conflict breeds good RP. So you know, it's it's just kind of one of those things where uh, you know, maybe maybe. Uh, Maybe you're a Tauren who's, who's struggling to accept the other races. You know, you kind of don't like undead. You think they're unnatural or something. Uh, you know, something like that can uh, kind of get, you know, breed some good interactions. So you see an undead and you're just like, oh, you abomination of nature. You know, <laughs> it should be put down. You know, something like that. Um, trolls are a lot of fun too. Trolls can be interesting. You can kind of do like voodoo stuff like that trolls are usually pretty laid back and, and cheerful they're kind of you know uh very uh aim on you know <laughs> they're just they're just wanting to to hang out and, and dance you know they're, they're just life of the party that's that's kind of 
uh, a troll typically or they're trying to get some crazy voodoo ritual going on or, or, or some poison like they can be pretty vicious as well so you know those are the horde races uh, I guess Torin I didn't really talk too much about like Torin are kind of they're kind of like personality wise they're pretty chill so you got orcs which can be a variety of things from just brute to to shamanistic uh, kind of trying to keep that rage tempered and that struggle to to never go back to the monsters they once were uh, undead is this misunderstood team you know everyone uh, they used to be part of the alliance you know so maybe maybe you could have some interactions where oh yeah i was on the alliance and i, I killed some of your 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 orcs you know when i was in the alliance as a as a um undead but i don't really remember much you know like there's some there's some there's some interesting stuff you can do there yeah those are the horde races now for alliance races uh human can be hard to rp because they're they can be cool uh you can definitely make some cool stuff for human but there's not much baseline there you're just kind of a human uh but you do have the stormwind nobles and uh all of that and uh, so you can be kind of like, if you do like a human rogue, you can be kind of like part of the Defias Brotherhood or um, something like that, or, you know, a paladin. And you, it kind of is up to the class you choose as a human as to kind of which way you want to RP them, I think. Um, same with dwarves. Uh, dwarves, you know, you got... Uh, you got, you know, your your basic dwarf is is drunk and cheerful all the time, and you know, always. You're not gonna really see too many uh, like edge lord dwarfs characters, uh, but you can obviously play one if you want to. Um, night elves, I always think night elves are kind of interesting personality wise. They are described as slow to anger and slow to cool down. So they they. Uh, it, it takes a lot to piss off a night elf, but once you piss them off, they're not going to let it go. <laughs> you know? That's kind of how um, how they roll. You think Illidan, he's, he's been pissed for 10,000 years, right? So, <laughs> But it's not easy to piss him off. Uh, gnomes can be interesting. Uh, I think it's probably hard to RP a gnome. There's a number of ways you can do it. Um... You know, you can you can kind of definitely go into that in you know inventor, you know engineer thing. You know, uh, you can do like gnome warlock and, and try to hide. I, I like playing a. An, I think alliance warlock can be interesting if you try to hide the fact that you're a warlock because warlocks are not readily accepted in the alliance. Like you have to. A lot of the warlock trainers are are hidden in basements and, and, and stuff like that. So I always think that's a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, it looks so like the gnomes, you, you, you kind of just want to be relatively cheerful, maybe not quite as jolly, I guess, as like a dwarf, but you know, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty cheerful most of the time. I'm always trying to invent things and, 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 and all that, you know, um, when it comes to classes, it's kind of kind of up to you, obviously, what you want to play, and uh, that kind of thing. But um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make something real quick, and uh, we'll kind of figure out what sort of. Um, I think I'll do a. Uh, we'll do, I guess, an undead. And or maybe we'll do something else. Let's see. Just so kind of think about, you know, what what do you want to do? Let's see. I have to pick Horde because I'm on a uh, PvP realm and I already have Horde characters. So let's go with a Orc. I think that's pretty cool. You know, we'll kind of make him look a little cool. We can give him some facial hair. I already have an idea for a name. We'll do that. 
when you name them, you do want them to kind of look somewhat similar to, or the name to, to match. So like orc names, you're going to have like very hard consonants and stuff. And if you're never not sure, you can hit a randomize to kind of a few times to give you some ideas. There's also some good like name generators out there that are free and, and easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of disable most of my add-ons here. Um, as far as RP add-ons, uh, the only ones I really recommend, uh, you're going to need something, where is it? God, it's a mess, but you're going to get, where is it? TRP, where are you at? TRP3. So they have this for retail and for classic, so you're going to want to get TRP. You can use MRP, which is my roleplay, um, but I prefer TRP because it has a number of extra features that my roleplay does not. They are compatible with each other, so there's that. Uh, another good one is Musician and Musician List. Um, they're kind of the same thing. That's a fun little RP add-on that lets you play music for other players. Um, and other players with the with the add-on can hear the music you play. Uh, I, I think it's really cool. And I wish more people used it. <laughs> because no one can hear the songs I play. But that's okay. So we're going to put those two on. And uh, I'm going to use Immersion. I'm not going to bother with the, my UI right now. But uh, Immersion is a, it's just a nice little quest text add-on. It's not anything like absolutely necessary. But I like the look of it. So we've made our orc warlock, and we are going to enter into the world. And I'll show how to set up your TRP. Now, we've all seen this before, and I don't want to spoil it if you haven't. So <laughs> uh, first, I'm just going to just gonna put this frame here. You know, you get your, your basic... Normally I have like a whole different uh, UI, but I just wanted it to be something that was more similar to what most people are going to see. So this is, you know, pretty much default. I have a UI skin going on, but that's about it. Um, okay. So when you enter the game, uh, you're going to... I just want to... rebind some things here okay anyway um you're going to have this little window here so this is trp3 and this is going to be kind of your quick slot menu majig and this can do things like a toggle to hide and show your cape and your helmet uh, which is very nice um this uh sets if you're away afk or not and this is out of character or in character. And that's what that does. And NPC features, that's a feature I mentioned. This is language. As an, as an orc, you can only speak orcish. If you're a human, you'll only be able to speak common. But this little drop down will switch it to, like, if you're a night elf, you can speak um, Darnastian, which is like the elvish. So only other races, only other dark, or only other night elves would be able to understand you. Uh, it's similar, like, if you're a. Um, what the heck? Um, if you're a, uh, you know, like an undead, you can speak gutter speak to other ones, and trolls can speak troll, uh, etc. So, um, the out of character and in character, so that's if somebody highlights, so you can see here in the bottom right, if, if I toggle out of character, you can see the OOC, and that means that, um, I'm out of character, which means I'm not role playing right now. Uh, so if you don't want to be role-playing all the time, uh, you just turn that on and people will realize that you're just chilling. You know, you're not trying to, you know, RP, but I like to just keep it on all the time and, you know, see what happens. So you can just kind of drag that somewhere, you know, somewhere out of the way. And when you target yourself or anyone else with TRP, you will get this little window here. And you can see here, I've got, uh, and it'll say create profile, and you can name it whatever you want. We will call this as Drek. 
because that is my name. And then you can have, you can see here, I have a bunch of different profiles. And that's for all of my different characters on different servers and stuff like that. And I also have some that I use on uh, the same character. So you can actually, uh, for example, I have a character who is an undead who... You know, you know, he he basically has multiple personalities. So, so there's sometimes he he uh, he thinks he's still a farmer, and so I have Farmer Anthony, and that's that's I'll activate that profile and put a farmer uh, suit on, and and you know he'll he'll think he's still a human farmer, and then and then I have the other one where he's, you know, he's a is an undead mind, mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> but every once in a while he forgets and he, he thinks he's a he's, he's a farmer. It's it's a lot of fun. But um so. So that's like a reason why you would want to switch multiple profiles if, if you want to do something like that. But typically, you're just going to have like your your one profile for your um, for your for each character, um, that sort of thing. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to like re-roll, you could like keep copy your profile. Or I've, I've seen some people like their character became a rogue in their story, and so they they made a rogue and they. Um, <clears throat> with a similar name or or whatever, and 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 used that profile so it's them as a rogue. Anyway, so <clears throat> to uh, cover over cover what uh, you can do with a uh, profile, so you can see here I have my name, race, class. It just says Azdrek, Orc Warlock. Uh, I have an about, miscellaneous, and notes. So these, so I'll just go through these. So this is going to be uh, just the basic information here. So you can see I can do, I can change my name. I can add a last name. So if I wanted to call this. Shadow Fury or something as direct Shadow Fury. Uh, that's my name. And if I say, you know, something in the chat here, I'll make the font bigger. You can see as direct Shadow Fury says dot, uh, and it'll appear in the chat like that. And so people see like your whole whole name there going on. Uh, you can pick a different icon, and that can appear in front of your name. Uh, so I'm going to put something like that, or, you know, pretty much any, you wanted to boot for some reason, you could. It's just any icon in the game, and uh, you can filter and search, but sometimes the uh, the names of the icon is not, like, the name of the ability. Like, if I wanted the Arcane Intellect uh, icon, if I type Arcane, you'll see, I don't see Arcane Intellect here. I can see, uh, I can see this one. I guess that is Arcane Intellect, but... I do holy I think it's I think like the regular yeah there it is and that's because the, it's based on the name of the the file and I guess sometime during uh, WoW's development they consider Arcane Intellect a holy spell <laughs> I don't know why it's called that and I, I, I don't know it's 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 interesting some of the the names um, that uh, some of these icons have and it's the same in retail too. It's kind of strange, um, but yeah, you can you can do a first name, last name, a title, a full title. Uh, if I wanted to RP that my race was not orc, or if I wanted to put like uh, Shadow Moon, I could do that and be like, oh, he's a Shadow Moon warlock, you know. If I wanted to change my name from warlock, I could be like Necrolite or something, you know, and I can change my class color to. To anything I want you know if I want something a little bit more like reddish I can do that and then you know if I uh, then I can hit, and then um, I can say age you can type in an actual number here or you can you can just say middle-aged or like adult or something it's really up to you residents you can say homeless <laughs> you know be like a murder hobo in uh, D and D or whatever, you can do something like that, or uh, you know, you can say, "Oh, I live in Orgrim, Orgrimmar," you know, and my eye color is red. And you can like, "Oh yeah, I have red eyes," and height is tall, or you can type, you can type in exactly how tall you are, body shape, like you can be thick, or <laughs> you know, you can say like slim, you know. All of that, and you can you can add all you can go through and just like add all kinds of stuff, and and you can add as much or as little as you as you really want. Um, the about this is where you're going to be able to type like your whole backstory, but I, I actually find that a bit daunting for a brand new character. 
Uh, the first thing I like to do is these at a glances. And what these are is these little, these are going to be little icons that somebody can see and read about your character uh, right when they click on you. So they don't have to read through your entire uh, backstory. I actually personally find it um, more enjoyable to find out somebody's backstory in character where you, you know, ask them questions or, or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> general chat's being a bit silly. I'll just just leave that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Okay, yeah. So the the at a glances. So I, uh, you know, you can kind of fill these out while you level up and and kind of feel out your character as you go. Um, like I'm gonna say, okay, this guy's gonna be a necrolite, so I can say necrolite. And this can be things that are on your character, like if your character carries around a necklace that's important to them, or or something. This can this can be physical traits that you see right off the bat, or it can be something like um, something that's just core to your character that you want people to know like right away. Um, so I'm gonna say necrolite. I'm gonna uh, pick this icon again, and I can say something like served as a necrolite. Second War, right? I could say, there you go. There's something about about my character, you know. And and I, I find it a lot easier to you can, you can have up to uh, I guess it's five of these. You can, you know, I could put this one over here or whatever, and, and you can see it's right there. So someone can target me. So they target me, and they can say, oh, this guy's a necrolite. What is a necrolite? It serves a second, right in the Second War. And I, I could probably put a little bit more information there but that's just something uh, really bare bones um, you can say other information so you got in character information this is currently what your character is doing uh, I am <laughs> currently uh, learning dark magic Oops. other character out, out of character information this is something like you know, I, I usually do something like uh, walk up, welcomed, and what a walk up is is somebody walks up to you and they're in character and they say like, "Hail, friend, greetings, traveler," and then you uh, greet them back and you have a little bit of an RP interaction and that's what a, a walk up is. And so I, that's my favorite stuff. So I say walk ups welcomed, and I just do like friendly to all you know so uh you know people like to you know put that they're you know whatever friendly i just say hey you know what everyone's cool so just say that and then i you know if you i never really bother for this but some people put like they're like 21 like players 21 plus but i, I don't usually bother because I'm not trying to do ERP. It's not what this guy's about. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if this is an alt, you can say, like, alt of, of uh, uh, Priestin. So that's, like, my main. So I can say that. So if anybody knows me, like, from my main, they can, you know, be like, oh, this is, I know who this is, you know. Um, <clears throat> so you can do that in character frequency. I can say, like, Full of the time, I never leave character. Most of the time, in the time, I'm a casual role player. Uh, not an RP character. I don't know why you would bother saying that. Like, why you even have TRP installed then? Um, but we'll say most of the time, except character injury, except character death. This is something you're just going to have to figure out. And that's kind of like injury that's like, if I am RPing that, like, I break your leg, are you going to accept that or not? Right? And then it's like now you've got an RP that your leg's broken, you know. You, if you just so if you don't know, just leave it. Don't show. Except character death, except character romance, and all this. I, I just kind of leave these as don't show, and kind of take it, um, you know, as, as it goes. If if I think it's it's something that makes sense, I'll do it. If if not, I you know that that's that, that's me. So that'll be up to you. So notes. This is just personal notes. This isn't something people can read, but you can leave notes um, for yourself to remember, or uh, for you, you know you can leave notes on other people's profiles as well. Um, so about this is where you're gonna get into the real meat of your character. You can full screen this if you want to, uh, and this is where you can literally just like 
My entire backstory. But there's a few templates. So this is like literally just a big blank. I don't know what this is all about. It's like some bug with one of the add-ons I've got. I think um, template two. This is kind of weird. And then like I like template three. This is like a good starting point. If you're new and you don't know what you're doing, template number three, very easy. Physical description, personality traits, history. Really easy. Just three little, three little segments. Put a few sentences in for each one physical description i can say something like you know if i'm trying to be like a gul'dan character for an orc hunched <laughs> over and something like that right and then, then you can change like the background of the uh things so i say something like that and then um personality traits is a dick <laughs> like i don't know whatever you want right um does not trust others well something like that you know maybe put that one in red or something and on history served in the second war as a necrolite and then we can kind of make that one like that, and then we can hit save, and then there it is. And you can also put like a uh, a music theme, and this is just any of the in-game musics, and this, and you can kind of scroll through and and find any of the any music that's in-game already. You can play it while somebody reads your TRP profile if if you want. Uh, so that's that. Oops. So we'll go ahead and, and save that. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the basics for setting up TRP. Um, so how do we use it? Well, there's another a number of other things you can do. So if you have the map open, uh, there's this little scan for roleplay button. And if you click it, it'll scan. And hopefully there's at least somebody around here. There's not. <laughs> um, I'll have to go to Orgrimmar or something. Uh, there's not very many people on right now. But um, what it'll do is it'll show a bunch of little dots on the map where people who have TRP are at. And it'll only do your current zone, so you'll have to actually kind of look around for some people with TRPs. And none of these people seem to have it. They're brand new to the game. A lot of people are, are, brand, are coming back to Classic WoW um, for uh, with the announce of uh, Burning Crusade. So, uh, you know, probably haven't... Uh, installed TRP yet or anything, but that's fine. Hopefully they will. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the basics. Um, but there's a couple other things you can do. Let me do this uh, NPC speeches for you. And um, let me just do a jump cut for you real quick. And get my imp and show you how we can use that. Alright, so we got the imp. And now I can show you guys the NPC speech feature real quick before I end this video. Um, and I've made my chat window nice and big so you guys can see what's going on. And what this does. So if you go to your little TRP um, little hot bar here you'll see the NPC speeches option. And now you don't need to have a minion for this. You can use it for literally anything you want. But this is just something I like to use it for because I uh, play a warlock and I, I like to RP on my warlock a lot and have little arguments with my minions. I think it's a fun little little thing you can you can do. And then, you know, so you can kind of play multiple characters at once. But you know, obviously you don't need to do that. So what you can do is uh, you have here, this is where you're, what you do is you type the name of the NPC in and for, if I want to make my imp, you, know, you can also create poor files for your different pets and stuff, but uh, for now, let's just not worry about that. So I can say knock, yep. And we say, what channel do we want to do? So we can make them do an emote. We can do a slash say, we can do a yell, or we can do like a whisper, which is like a, Kind of like an old god whisper. We're gonna just gonna do a slash say, and we can just make him say, "Hey," 
release me <laughs> already. You know, something like that. And if I hit send, you'll see in the uh, chat box here, let me just go ahead and make the font absolutely ginormous so you can see. Um, what it's done is it actually says not cut, says, hey, release me already. And you see it's kind of that yellowish color. Uh, which is like an NPC speech. So you can kind of do that. And uh, you can kind of do, you can use this feature to do emotes as well. You know, uh, I don't know, knock yap. Uh, jitters around. I don't know. You know, anything you want, right? Uh, you can also use this feature to kind of have. Um, And do like my haunting voice. You're gonna whisper. Come closer. You know, and you can't actually see who says a haunting voice whispers to come closer. And you can kind of hide who's saying it so you can kind of, you know, kind of make it all spooky. Um, but you can kind of do that stuff and then that 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 goes to anyone around you because what it's actually doing is it's doing the emote channel so if you do slash emote or sla or just slash e and you hit space it's you and you uh, say something like uh, scratches his beard so you say uh, he scratched the beard you know uh, just little stuff like that um, you can do custom emotes that way and what TRP is doing is essentially, it has a way to know when uh, the custom emote should be slash say for an NPC or, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, like I said, you can make profiles for it. You know, I can say knock yap, and then I can look at it, open page, and it's it's pretty much the same as as creating your own profile. It's just a little bit less. You just have the glances, the icon, and and. Uh, you want an about page you could have one of those but uh you know that's uh that's pretty much it about uh trp uh, i'll briefly cover musician because i think it's a pretty cool add-on uh, so you can see here you can import and play a song and this uses uh dot midi files uh which are you know like old school games used to use use midi it's just kind of like a digital sheet music and uh, you go to their website upload it and then you get a string to copy paste into here and uh, once you've done that you can see I have a list of songs that I've imported and you can play them and then anyone nearby you will hear the music so like if I play something like I don't know uh, this Skyrim thing I can play this, and then people who are nearby will see these music notes, and if they have the add-on, or they'll see this, and oh, fuck, I can't talk. They'll see the music notes, they'll hear the the music, and you know you can just chill and play some songs for people, and I just think it does a lot to kind of make the world feel more alive, you know. And if you you're kind of the bard in a, a tavern or something, and playing a bit of music can be cool or you can just play some memes during your raid you know play like sea shanty or something it's it's a lot of fun but uh hopefully uh, you found this video you know to be a little interesting a little helpful uh and not too annoying so later